Something Cole likes, Stretch, is it really deep. It is the biggest I've ever seen. Fuck as a miser. Can we see? Can we see? No, Rufty. I can't let anyone through. Ooh, I can almost see him from here. There, we're all ready to go. If we get the road finished by rush hour, we'll still have time to clear up all these leaves from last night's rainstorm. Yes, good thinking. Come on, Tread, let's go. Sure thing, Bob. I hope it doesn't rain again tonight. I don't like getting wet. And I don't like thunder. Uh, Merc, are you moving closer to that hole? No. Uh, what was that you were saying about thunder? I said I don't like it very much. Merc, you just moved back. When? Just then. No, I didn't. There, you did it again. I thought you said this road wasn't safe for big vehicles like you and me. It's all right, Lofty. I'm the safety officer, so I know what's safe. What? Oh, it's just a big hole. <gasps> ah! Oh, what's happening? <gasps> oh, no! Whoa! Mug, what's going on? The road is sinking. What shall I do? I'd stay very still if I were you. I don't want to be near the sinkhole anymore, Bob. I want to get out! You must stay very still, or you could topple onto your side. No. Lofty, Anyone? attach your hook to Muck. Right here, Bob. Help! Help! I want to get out of here! Keep calm, Muck. <laughs> right, when I say three, Lofty, I want you to pull, and Muck, I want you to drive forwards, OK? OK, Bob. Yes, Bob. One, two, three! <laughs> I'm going over! Really pull, Lofty! <laughs> Could you hurry up, please? I'm a bit, uh... Is it over there? Oh, yeah, I know. Here we are. <laughs> Oh, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Oh, right. Cheers, Leo. Uh, no worries. Huh? Right. Oh, not the phone again. Don't answer it. Don't answer it. Hi, Chef Tutty. Oh. Is everything OK? I'm not sure, Bob. Do you have any idea where Trev is? Yes, he's here with me. Uh, could you ask him to get to the sushi bar as soon as he can? Or my fish could go off and be ruined. I'll tell him right away, Chef. Bye. Yeah, uh, OK, great, Bob. Bye. I've got to roll. No, wait, Tread. Come back. Oh. Chef Tatty's waiting for you at the sushi bar. He said something about some fish going off. I know, I know, the fish. Gotta go, Bob. No. Ah, Tread, there you are. Sorry I'm late, Chef Tatty. No worries. Well, actually, I was starting to get a wee bit worried about my fish. Hmm, it doesn't smell off. In fact, it doesn't smell at all. Huh? What are these? What's wrong now? Tiles? Oh, dear. If you've got the tiles, then what has Bob got? Huh? Uh-oh. Hello? Have you got a box there with my fish in it, Bob? No, I've just opened it, and I appear to have a control panel. So who's got my fish? Oh, no. <sighs> huh? 
Hello? Hi, Wendy. It's Chef Chatty. Are you by any chance staring at a fish? What on earth's going on? Sir Bob, you've got the control panel and Chef Tatty has the tiles. And Wendy has the fish, which will be spoiled soon if it isn't refrigerated. And someone still needs to pick up Leo in the cupboard and drop them off at the sushi bar. I'm sorry, Bob. I should have told you. I was getting too busy. It's not your fault, Tread. Wendy and I should have picked up the right boxes. Well, I still try to do too much and I wouldn't let anyone help. Oh. Of bits of wood in the barn. What should I do with them? They're not just pieces of wood, Scoop. They're pieces of an old apple press for making apple juice. Put them to one side for now. OK. Uh-oh. Careful, Scoop. Uh -oh. Careful, Lofty. Uh-oh. Careful, Muck. <laughs> Silly goose. Oh, no. We made it rain apples. Don't panic, guys, but try to be more careful. Chef Tatty will be upset if he doesn't have any apples left to store in the barn. I promise. Right, too. OK, Wendy. Muck, will you go and see if Leo needs any help with the fence? OK, Bob. Oh, I don't want to squash any more apples. I'll go a different way. Hello, Flame. Oh, no, Flame. Look what I did. I can't leave those lying around for Chef Tatty to see. He might get upset. Better tell Leo about that. But first, I'll find somewhere out of the way to put these apples. Aha! They'll be nice and safe there. Hi, Leo. Sorry, but I accidentally broke a fence near Flames Field. Oh, no problem, Muck. I'll go and fix Flame's fence if you take these bits of wood away. It's a deal. <laughs> what? But when did I knock all of those apples down? Is something wrong, Muck? Uh, no. Everything's OK, Leo. Hey, Muck. Let's give it a test drive. Conveyor belt? What's that for? <laughs> it's to move the food around the restaurant, Scoop. Ready, steady. Lunchtime builders. Toot, toot. Oh, wow, that's so cool! Mmm, fabulous, Chef Tatty. This is my favourite kind of dining. Last chance for lunch, Bob. <laughs> bon appetit. OK, I'll try this one. Mm. What do you think, Bob? tatty licious. Hey! <laughs> <sighs> well, Scoop? What do you think of the conveyor belt? I think it's magical. Hmm. I can't believe Sylvan pulled that rabbit out of his head. Now that's proper magic, that is. Ha! That's not magic. This is magic. Behold! The colour changing balls of mystery. Green. Red, blue and purple, all sitting on the uh, uh, table. Abracadigger, Alakazala. Um, come on. 
on. Hmm. Make the balls change their color. Ta-da! Pink, white, yellow, orange. Actually, is quite a good trick, Scoop. Oh, yes. It's brilliant. Do it again, Scoop. Yes, go on, Scoop. Do it again. Um, okay then. Africa Jigger, Alaco. Whoa, whoa, not so fast. Slow down. Slow down. Whoa! Oh, Stop. No. Stop. No, 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 no. Ouch. What have you done? Oh, I am so sorry. Oh, I was just trying to wow Muck and Lofty with a magic trick. Magic tricks take a lot of practice, Scoop. And preferably not using building materials or lunch. Oh, this is a disaster. You'll never finish before tonight's audience arrives. If we work hard, I think we can fix it in time. So, team, let's get to work. Yes. You can dig out the line of uprights nearest the slipway. There's not so much seaweed there, but you must still be very careful. Yes! Oh, I will, Bob. Promise! Fantastico! Whoa, whoa! Oh, that was lucky. Right, it's digging time at last! Oh, oh. oh Bob was right. This is really slippy. Oh, slipping, slipping, slipping! Oh! Glad you could join in, Scoop. Thanks, Stretch. Ew. There, one jetty finished. One more to go. Oh no, Stretch is almost finished. <laughs> I have to work faster. Oh, but it's too slippery to dig properly. Three rows, all done. Great work, Stretch. One row left. Would you like me to help you, Scoop? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, thanks, Stretch. I can finish it. No problem. OK, you've got it. Bob, I'm ready for my pile driver. Oh. Whoa! Uh, Scoop, aren't you digging a bit too wide and a bit too deep? No, it's spot on. My digging is never wrong. Hmm. I'm not so sure. <laughs> there you go, Stretch. Oh, thanks, Bob. Great. Now I'm ready to pound in those uprights. Ooh, those are deep holes, Scoot. And really wide. No, they are not, Muck. They're just fine. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Whoa. See? All done. See how these fit. One of mine. Yes, perfect. And one of scoops. Oh, that can't be right. Maybe the pole's bent. But try another one of mine, Stretch. Dear, that is not good. Oh no! <gasps> oh no! <gasps> oh! Get off! Get off! I can't shake it loose. What's happening down there, Bob? I accidentally hit the power box in the maintenance garage, and now all the garage doors have closed. And Scoop and Muck are trapped. Trapped? And now I've broken the scaffold tower, so you're stuck on the roof too. I can reach you. Oh, it's too dangerous with that bit of scaffold jammed on your hook, Lofty. Oops. Oh, 
I don't know what I did to make such a mess. Maybe you were working a little too fast without taking enough care, Shifter. Well, we need to think fast about how to get down from up here. We could use a ladder. Mm. But those are all stuck in the garages too. Could we build a ladder? Or a staircase or, or something? That's not a bad idea, Shifter. Perhaps you could use some of those empty pallets you cleared away. Yes, I could do that. <laughs> But I'll need help. I can't help you, Shifter. Oh, no. Oh, but I know someone who can. <laughs> Tread! Tread! It's an emergency. I need your help to move the pallets back to the yard again. Come on! Uh, I'd love to, Shifter. I really would. But there's one problem. I'm surrounded. Oh, <gasps> yes. I see. Sorry. <laughs> Here. Right, young shifter, here I am. Start loading me up. That's the idea, shifter. Not so fast, shifter. Take it easy. OK, Tread. Now I'll move yours. It's working. Back in the boat, Bob. We'll have you down in no time. That's it, Bob. I've used all of the pallets. Thanks, Shifter. Let's go, Wendy. Ooh. Do be careful, both of you. We're almost there, but we need two more steps to get down. Mm. Yes! I know what to do! Uh... Oh! Oh! I get it! Where are you going? <laughs> Push the blade of your bucket underneath, Matt. Like this? Yes, that's right. As far as you can. OK, are you ready to lift? Yes, I think so. Right, on three. Three, lift! <laughs> yes! Now we have to move it. I'll come forward, you reverse, OK? OK. Take it slowly, Scoop. Ready? Now! Yay! Look, we're moving it! Too? Yes, you work together really well there because you listen to each other. <sighs> uh, I bet Shifter could lift that stone up really easily. I don't think so, Scoop. It's very heavy. Where is Shifter? He seems to have disappeared. Huh? <sighs> it's not like Shifter to go off on his own. He doesn't know his way around Spring City. We'd better go and find him. Wendy, Stretch, please will you stay here in case he comes back? OK, Bob. Will do. The rest of us will search the city. Right, team? Can we find him? Yes, we can! Where? Where else can he be? Help! Oh, help me someone! Did anyone hear me? Hold on. Did you hear that? Hello? Huh? Shifter here. I'm stuck. <gasps> He's behind that hill. Quick, Did let's go! Help me! Help me! Oi! Please help! We're here, Shifter! Shifter, what happened? 
Are you trying to be a digger or something? It's not funny, Scoop. I'm really stuck. Can you help me get the right way up? Why don't you pull your forks out? Be because I can only move them up and down. Now, I'm going to do that. Th this happens. <laughs> You need to smooth out the gravel after I've dropped it onto the new pool. Uh. Oh, oh. Yeah, hey guys, what's going on? Oh, hi, hi. We're going camping as soon as the campsite reopens. Uncle Phil's been teaching us all sorts of outdoor skills. Oh, like what? With the help of a grown-up, we can build a campfire from fallen branches. <gasps> And later, we're going for a hike in the woods to spot different animals. And Phil's told us, if we get lost, we can use this signal. <whistles> it's called an SOS. It means help. An SOS? Oh, let me try. <laughs> wow, Scoop. You're a quick learner. Yeah! I should go on my very own hiking and camping trip. But, Scoop, there's a lot more you need to know. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Careful, Scoop. I'm getting ready to go hiking and camping. Wanna come? Hang on a moment. I just have to place this log here. Oh, Lucy, you're taking ages. I know. I'll look for things that we need for our adventure. You can help when you're finished. Do you even know how to go camping? Yep! The Spring City Rockets showed me some outdoor skills. Oh, wow! Bob can make us a campfire with these! See? I know everything about camping. There. A perfect pile of logs. What was that? Scoo! Look at my logs! They're all over the place now. Oops. Oh, aren't you supposed to be helping Muck? Oh, yeah! Muck! He'll definitely want to come hiking and camping. I'll go ask him to... Ow. So, campers have to follow these trail signs and then they won't get lost on their walk. That's right. So put the first trail sign at the start of the trail, here, and then put the rest along this path through the woods. Here, you better take the map to help you. You got all that, Leo? <laughs> yeah, I've got a brilliant memory. I won't forget a single thing. <laughs> he forgot the map. Yeah. Oh. See, I remember everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in the end. Yellow first. Yellow. Mm. Yellow. Green. Yellow. Do the yellow one. Blue. Yellow. Leo. Leo. Yellow. Red. Yellow. Leo. Green. Yellow. Yellow. Blue. Leo. Yellow. Red. Yellow. Purple. Yellow. Um, yellow. Yellow. Okay. Yellow. Yellow goes here. Yes. There. See. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Everything okay, Leo? Yeah. We can test it now, Bob. Excellent. Would you untie your dad's boat, please? Then I'll see if I can lift it with a hoist. Okay. There. Now we can power up. Let's go, go, go! It's working, Bob! <laughs> the boat's ready for lifting, Bob! Right. Here goes. Hmm. That's not right. Maybe I need to push it this way. Oh. Oops. Right. Uh-oh. What? Look out, Scoop! Oh, it's chasing me! I've got it! I think. Oops! Oh, no! Oh, oh no! <gasps> oh, phew. Why is this going the wrong way? What are you doing, Bob? I think I'm getting the hang of it now. Oops! Oh, I'm getting out of here! No, stay still, Scoop! Huh? Uh-oh. Oh. Get out of here. Oh, no! I'll get you down. Whoa! 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 Oh, no! Don't drop him, Bob! I'm trying not to, Lofty. Oh, Bob! Get me down! <laughs> oh, help me! Whoa. Oh, no! Whoa! I'm falling! It's all right, Scoop. Stay calm. I don't want to go in the water, Bob. Help! Oh, let me 
try. I must have got the wires mixed up somehow, but I think I know what to do. Oh. Hurry, Leo. It's working backwards, so if I want to move the hoist left, I need to move the joystick right, like this. Oh. Yes! <gasps> no, too fast! Under, pull it tight, make a bow, and it's tied right. There, all secured. Uh, ready for the sea trials, Bob? Not yet, Captain Bentley. Ah, I do wish they'd hurry up. I can't wait to get out on the open sea. Huh? What's happening? Oh, oh, that's not good. Whoa! <gasps> the ship! I'm Captain Bentley. I haven't connected the engine yet. He's going to drift out to sea. Back up, Lofty, quick as you can. Yes, Bob. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Off we go, Lofty. Follow that ship. Mr. Bentley! Drop the anchor! I don't know how! I'll stop him, Bob! Hey, missed. I can't reach! What? I can't reach! What? Oh, double dear. We're heading for the open sea. What do we do, girl? Oh, no. Bob, quick, get in! I can catch her up! It's time to find your sea legs! Jump in, Landlubber! It's all a dream, a terrible dream! Help me, Horatio! Mr. Bentley! Drop the anchor! Oh, thank goodness for that! A rescue party! <laughs> Ahoy there! Steady as she goes! Here I am, Bob! <sighs> Hold on! Thank goodness you're here, Bob. <sighs> How do we drop the anchor? Like this. There. Let's hope it holds on the riverbed. <laughs> yeah! You did it, Bob! Well done. Not bad for a landlubber. I'm sorry I interfered with your work. When it comes to building, you're the captain. Thank you, Mr. Bentley. I might keep the hat, though. Can we go back now? Whoa. The sooner the better. Land ahoy! Yay! Right, team. We've got a ship to make ship shape. So, can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! OK, oh. let's start assembling the telescope. Pass me the first panel, please, Lofty. Righto. Slowly, gently. It's going to be a really big dish. Bigger than any TV satellite dish. Yeah, we're not too close, Scoop. A huge mungus dish. You're getting too close to the dish, Scoop. Am I too close? Am I really? Just a little bit, Scoop. Oh, no problem, Bob. Only joking, Lofty. Oh. There. I've connected the cables, so as soon as the dish is installed, you'll have full control of it. Thanks, Wendy. Ready, Lofty? I think so, Bob. I'm just a little bit scared of breaking the dish. You'll be fine if you take it slowly, Lofty. Right. Oh, I'm going to get it wrong, Bob. No, you're not, Lofty. You're doing brilliantly. That's it. OK. Lower it down now. That's right. Keep going. Well done, Lofty. You did it. Phew. Nothing went wrong. 
Now I need to power up from the observatory and check the remote control works. <gasps> you mustn't sit there, girl. The radio telescope is very delicate and can easily be damaged. Oh, there is a good sea, girl. Come on, hop over onto my jib. The power's on. Let's try moving the telescope. Come to Lofty. Oh, whoa! Oh, no! Wow! Uh-oh. Lofty, what happened? Oh, Bob. Girl was sitting on the dish, so I tried to get him to move. Uh-oh. Oh, dear, oh, dear. How's it looking, Bob? <sighs> Not good. The hydraulics are completely jammed, and that means the telescope won't move. And it's stuck in the wrong position. Now I won't be able to speak to Lynn. Oh, me, I'm sorry. I thought Girl might damage the telescope. Is there a way to get the hydraulics to work again, Bob? I don't know until I've checked what's broken. To start with, I'd have to disconnect them, but then the dish would just flop to one side. And I wouldn't be able to move it by remote control at all. Maybe you don't need to. What if I move the dish with my gym? That's a great idea. I think I can make it work. Come on, Daisy. You can calm down. <gasps> I'll count again, but this time I will get past three. <gasps> One, two, three, four. Right, that's the heating on. How are you getting on with the pupae, Jenny? Just finished, Wendy. Oh. oh, no. What? I think I've just glued myself to this post by mistake. Really? Don't worry, Jenny. There you go. You'd caught your sleeve, that's all. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dizzy will want to see the pupae, won't she? Oh, yes. I'll go and find her. 17, 18, 19. Ooh, hi, Wendy. Hi, Dizzy. <gasps> Dizzy, don't move or say a thing. Understand? No. Well, just really, really quietly say okay, okay? Okay. A butterfly has landed on your mixing drum. <gasps> oh, that's so. Shh. Stay still. If it flies off, we may never see it again. Oh, Bob, they're starting to hatch. Already? Then we got them in here just in time. I'll go and get Wendy and Dizzy. They won't want to miss this. Jenny, thank goodness. Look. <gasps> That's a Menelaus blue morpho. It's one of my butterflies. How did it...? It hatched in Dizzy's drum. Can you catch it and get it inside? I don't have a net. And anyway, it could fly away any moment. Dizzy, it's up to you to save my butterfly. Can you drive very slowly and carefully back inside? I'll try, but what if I do not see us Dizzy, we can't hear a word you're saying. I said... What if I'm too noisy and scare it? We'll just have to hope it doesn't fly off. I really believe you can do this, Dizzy. Me too. Just pretend the butterfly isn't there. OK. Come on, Dizzy. Slow and steady. You can do it, Dizzy. This is absolutely amazing. Hello, Muck. Hello, Hiya. Mark. Hiya. We're off to the sports stadium. Sky's got a big surprise for us. Oh, that's exciting. I'm looking for Tutan, but I can't find him anywhere. Have you seen him? We passed him at the town hall not long ago. It looked like he was dropping off a big delivery. Thank you so much, Betsy. See ya. Oh. Mind how you go. Oh, dear me, no. 
Hello, Mr. Bentley. I'm looking for Dash Lightning's movie props. Are they in that container, please? Eh? No. Just dozens of old statues packed in crates of straw. Oh! Thank you, Mr. Bentley. Bye! I was expecting new furniture for the town hall. A sofa for the mayor's office. Some lovely, colourful cushions. I'm never gonna find two ton in time. Now I'll have to tell Bob the bad news. It's looking great. We're getting there, Wendy. But we still need to install those props, Bob. And soon. Ah, there you are, Muck. Any luck? Oh, Bob, I'm so sorry. I've been looking everywhere, but I still can't find two ton. But without that container of props, we can't finish the ride. I did see one container at the museum and another at the town hall, but they didn't have our props. Ah, but what was inside them, Muck? Uh, let's see. Um, Mr Bentley had statues, but he wanted sofas. And he oh. had footballs and sporty stuff, but he wanted statues. Well, we've got Mr Bentley sofas. That's right, Leo. So, where would all the sporty stuff need to go? The, the Sports Stadium! Oh! Betsy and the Spring City Rockets were going to the Sports Stadium. Safi said something about a big surprise. That could be it. A surprise container of sports equipment. Come on, Muck. Let's go and find out. Well, this is a surprise, Two-Ton. Just not quite the one I was expecting. No, that shouldn't happen. Oh, hi, guys. Hi, Sky. You've probably guessed there's been a big mix-up. Your sports equipment is at the museum. How did I make such a mistake, Bob? It's my fault, Two-Ton. I picked out the wrong container at Roland's. So, now we know where everything's meant to be. These movie props go to the film studio, the furniture to the town hall, the statues to the museum, and the sports equipment comes here. Got it, Bob. Now let's pack up that shark and get rolling. Four parts sand. And one part cement. All ready for your assessment, Leo! Yes, but I'm a bit worried, Dizzy. What if everything isn't finished for when Wendy gets back? Just work as fast as you can, Leo. Then it will be. Yeah. That's a great idea, Dizzy. I'll work super fast. You've certainly worked fast, Leo. That's good, right? Well, fast isn't always best. I suppose it is a bit messy. Hmm. And look, this bubble isn't in the centre. That means the wall's not level. Oh. It isn't good enough to pass the assessment, is it, Bob? No, I'm really sorry, Leo. It isn't. Oh, I rushed it because I wanted to have it finished on time for Wendy. I think Wendy would rather you get it right and pass. Now, how about you start again? Oh, yes, please, Bob. And this time, it'll be perfect. Yay! You can do it, Leo! I've taken out all the poles, Shifter. You just dumped them all as well. But dumping's what I usually do. I thought you'd make a nice, neat pile like mine. You should have said. Oh, yeah, silly me. Muck, can you make a nice, neat pile like mine, please? Yes, Shifter, I can. Brilliant! <laughs> Lofty and I have to go back to the yard, Dizzy. You need to stay here with Leo till we get back. That's OK, Bob. No problem. Just make sure he takes it slowly this time. Mm hmm. That's more like it, Leo. Lofty and I are nipping out for a while, OK? Of course, Bob. See you later. You can do this, Leo. You just need to slow down. Get into a rhythm. I know, but how? 
I'm not very good at going slowly either. Uh, oh, I know. Have you got any music on your phone? Something with a rhythm that you can work in time to? Uh, slow. Slow. How about this? Wow, that is really slow. Perfect! Off you go! Oh, this is wonderful! Here you go, Mr. Bentley. Thanks, Mark. Oh, and remember to pick me up on your way back, won't you, chauffeur? Um, of course. Yes. Back soon! It's me again! I'm just taking the materials for the skyscraper. Mark, wait! You've got the wrong stuff! Again? Mark just took the materials for Safi's playhouse instead of the ones for the skyscraper station. Hmm, I think I'd better call Bob. These panels are the wrong colour, Bob. We're supposed to be building the red kiosk here. Oh, dear. Mug must have made a mistake. Hi, Leo. Bob, there's been a problem with the materials. I know. We've got the green panels at the stadium station instead of the red ones. Yeah, and that's not all. When you get to the next station, you'll have the materials for Safi's playhouse instead of the kiosk. OK, thanks, Leo. I think we'd better go and find Muck and find out what's going on. Phew! Now I can go and be Mr Bentley's chauffeur again. Muck, there you are. Oh, hello, Bob. What's going on, Muck? All the materials are in the wrong places. Um, really? Are you sure? Yes, the skyscraper materials are at the stadium station and these are the materials for Safi's playhouse. Oh, no. I should never have said I'd be Mr Bentley's chauffeur. He said what? I'm sorry, Bob. Mr Bentley asked me to help him get to his appointments. I thought I could do both jobs at once. It is really hard trying to do two jobs at the same time, Muck. That's why I got in a muddle. Maybe if I do one job at a time, I can still get it all done. <laughs> well, yes. That does seem like a good plan. Hmm. If I bring the green materials back here, then take Safi's playhouse back to the yard, then I can pick up the red materials for the stadium station. And then I'll pick up Mr Bentley. Can you fix it? Yes, I can. Kiosks down and, and one to go. go. OK, Dredd, we need to go to the stadium station next. Stadium station it is. On my way. Thanks, Lofty. That's it, team. If we all work together, we'll finish building the gingerbread house and have plenty of time to enjoy Christmas Eve. Rocking out to Christmas carols. Wrapping presents. And stacking them neatly under the tree. Oh, oh, and hunting for chocolate eggs. That's a different holiday, Mark. Oh, yeah. And, of course, giving each other handmade Christmas cards, Wendy. Oh, yes. I almost forgot. I've still got the one you made for me last year. A snowboarding elf. Brilliant. What's an elf, Bob? Elves make toys, decorate Christmas trees and help with the delivery of presents. Ooh. Tell me more. Well, they also wear little green pointy hats. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> like this. Let me fix that for you. <laughs> yeah, that's better like that. And what else? Uh, they talk in high-pitched voices. Like this. <laughs> You've got it, Muck. <laughs> Look at me. I'm a Christmas elf. You can't be an elf, Muck. Elves are tiny and nimble and you're a great big dump truck. Yes, I can, Lofty. I'm Muck the Elf. I'm going to help make this the best Christmas ever. Absolutely, Mr Bentley. 
The gingerbread house will be ready in time for your Christmas choir concert this evening, I promise. Music to my ears, Bob. Fa la 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 la. <laughs> Best be off. My choir needs me. We must practice putting more jingle in our bells. The jingle bells, jingle bells, <laughs> jingle all the way. See you later, Mr. Bentley. OK, team. We can't disappoint Mr. B. Can we build a gingerbread house? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Christmas Elf reporting for duty. Need a hand with the gingerbread house, Wendy? <laughs> no, thank you, Muck. We're OK here. Oh. Need any elf help with the snowman, Leo? Not right now. I'm good, thanks, Muck. Oh. The hell am I supposed to be a Christmas Elf if no one needs my help? Oh. Oh. Bob's caught up with us, Muck. Can you go and get me the door while I finish the serving counter? Sure thing, Wendy. There we go. Uh, our counter is finished. We've caught up with them, Bob. We might even beat them. Uh, not that it matters at all. Next thing to do is to put on the door. I've got the doors right here, Bob. There you go. Uh, we only need one door, Scoop, but we've got two. Huh? Oh! You must have picked up Wendy's door as well by mistake. Ugh. Oh dear! Oh, it'll really slow them down if they don't have it. Hmm. Can you take it over to her then, please? Oh. Okay, Bob. Where's the door? Uh, I better tell Bob. Hi, Wendy! I've got your door. Thanks, Scoop. That's very helpful. Have you joined our team? Huh? Oh, no, it's just that I picked up your door by mistake. Hi, Bob. I can't find the door for our hot dog stand. Do you know where it is? Yes, Muck. Scoop's got your door. He's taking it to Wendy now. Thanks, Bob. Hey. Uh, why has Scoop got our door? He really wants us to be the first to finish our stand. <sighs> Oh, so you mean he hid our door. But that's not fair. And he got muddled up and brought me your door by mistake. <sighs> Muck? That's our door, Scoop. It's not nice to hide other people's things. I didn't hide it, Muck. Yes, you did. You took our door because you want to win the race. Bob told me. No, that's not true. Come with me and Bob can tell you what really happened. Don't go away with our door again. It's not fair. Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. Really, I didn't. Here, have it. Whoa! <gasps> Oops. I'll catch it. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Uh-oh. No, oh, Scoop. I'll have to rebuild this whole wall, Bob. And you'll need a couple of brand new wood panels. These two are broken. Oh, I'm sorry, Wendy. I didn't mean to damage your stand. Don't worry, Scoop. It was an accident. I know, but Bob said to work slowly and steadily. I wanted to win the race to build the hot dog stand so much, I wasn't slow or steady. It wasn't a real competition, Scoop. It was just Wendy and me having a bit of fun. Oh. Scoop? Oh. You can dig the path from the car park over there to the start of the walkway. Fantastismo! It's going to be the most amazing park ever! <laughs> Glad to hear it. Yeah! Amazing scoop! Ah, looking good. Yep, nice sharp sides. Same depth all the way along. Now, 
now get it all nice and even and no gravel spilled over the sides. Yes! Amazing Scoop does it again! Awesome. Ooh, this is a nice path, Scoop. <laughs> Thanks, Lofty. Oh, it's just what I do, you know. Do you think Dash will notice how good it is? You can show him yourself. Dash is here! Yep, just over. Ah, he is! Dash Lightning! Dash Lightning! Bob the Builder! The man who can! Hi, Dash. Wow! This is gonna be some walkway. I'll be back shortly to see you fix up my nameplate, but I have to see Sky first. <laughs> Don't finish before I get back, will you? Oh, don't worry, Dash. We'll still be here. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dash, lightning. Oh, no. What? Dash is talking to Stretch. And? I wonder what they're talking about. Hey, Dash, I can't believe I'm talking to you. The honour is all mine, Stretch. Zoom. Boom. Dash Lightning loves his fans. My friend Scoop over there. He's your biggest fan. He's looking at me. I have to do something amazing. Hmm. He's an amazing digger. Do you want to see his work? I really do, Stretch. But later. Right now, I have to zoom a boom zoom. Love your work, guys! Ah! Oh, he's coming this way! I have to do something amazing! Like! Like! Yes! I'll lift all that timber! Hurry, Scoop, hurry! Oh, no, Dash is going! Oops. Amazing, Scoop! Oh. Oops. Whoa! No, don't fall! Help! My world is slipping! Ah. Oh. Ah. I'm I'm really stuck. Right, where's the timber for the walkways, Wendy? It should be over here. Hmm, that's odd. There's some here, but not nearly enough. What? Hold on, Bob. There's a piece over there. Here's another. And another. And another. Who wants to share a garage anyway, Lofty? I mean, I'd rather be on my own, really, instead of having someone get in my way all the time. That's not what you were saying before, Dizzy. Before, you were saying how much fun it would be. Well, it won't be now, will it? Because Shift has spoiled everything. I don't think that's fair, Dizzy. Thanks, Lofty. It's not that Shifter doesn't want to share it with you. Huh? He's just upset because he thought he was getting his own garage. Oh. And it was me that got it hoped up in the first place, wasn't it? Oh, you're right, Lofty. This isn't Shifter's fault at all. Dizzy, did Shifter bring over that new box of bolts? I need it now. Yes, he did, Bob, but he's still carrying it round with him. Mm, right. I'll have to go and get it. Hi, Wendy. Is Shifter OK? Oh, I'm afraid not. He's hiding in the gravel store. He won't talk and he won't come out. We'll have to try and put this right somehow. And then we need to get the garages finished. Bob, could I try talking to Shifter again? I wasn't very kind to him just now and I really would like to share with him. Thank you, Dizzy. That's very sweet of you. Yes, it really is. Bob and I should have explained everything to Shifter before we started. But I'm sure you're the best one to talk to him. Come on, then. Let's see what we can do. I'm sorry I was cross-shifter. Go away. Please, Dizzy. I don't want to talk to anyone right now. I didn't mean what I said about not wanting to share with you. I really do want to share. And I love the idea of one red wall and one that's green with orange round it. You mean, like I want for my garage? Yes, and I've got a brilliant butterfly poster up but there's room for another, so we could have a Dash Lightning poster, too. <gasps> like Mox. Yes! Dash Lightning's so amazing. We can play Dash Lightning games. What does he say? Zoom! Boom! Lightning strikes twice. <laughs> I know lots of Dash Lightning games. Will you teach them to me? OK. Bob, can you and Wendy paint Dizzy's garage today? We certainly can, Shifter. 
just as soon as you've given me those bolts. Oops. <laughs> and we finished building the new garages. Yay! Let's do it! Look up there! It's like the snow's made a kind of cliff. That looks really cool. Oh, yeah, it does. Anyway, it's time I got back to Wendy. No, wait, hold on, Trent. Watch me first. I want to do a spin like the one you just did. Still think you can be king of the road, do you? Off you go, then. Surprise me. I will. Watch this. Here comes a really mega super scale. Was that it? No, no. Stay there, Trent. That was just a practice. Right, here comes the real thing. Go on, then. Last chance. <laughs> oh, no! Get out of the way, Trent! <laughs> Trent! Trent! Oh, no. to get all the way over here without snow chains anyway, Scoop. Find Wendy. She'll know what to do. Yes, OK. Good idea. I won't be long. Quick as you can, though, eh? It's really cold in here. Wendy! Wendy! Help! What is it? Wendy, there's been an avalanche. An avalanche? Where? And where's Tread? Tread's been buried down this hill. The avalanche just came whooshing down and buried him. And I couldn't dig him out because I haven't got snow chains. And... It's all right, Scoob. It's all right. Don't worry. You did the right thing not to try. We don't want you getting stuck too. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Bob. We've got an emergency on Observatory Hill. We need to stretch here as quickly as possible. We're on our way. Poor Tread, I hope he's all right. Wendy says he's very cold and very stuck, but not hurt. Oh, well, that's good. With your track stretch, you should be able to get across the snow and dig him out. Oh, I'll do my best, Bob. Oh. Uh, Mac! What on earth have you got in your damper? Oh, uh, it's uh, manure, Sky. It makes the flowers and, um... Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll just go. It's... it's at the back of my eyes. Oh, no. It's the Spring City Rockets. I don't want them to smell me as well. I think I'll go the long way around. Maybe if I go fast enough, no one will notice the stinky smell. Thanks, Lofty. There we are. That's out of sight, isn't it? No, I can still see it. What if we put it right next to the shed? You'll hardly see it at all there. Mm, but I'll still be able to see it a bit. <laughs> Don't worry, Mayor Madison. I'm sure we'll find just the right place for it. Up we go again, Lofty. Hmm. I think closer. Here. No, 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 no. Further away. OK. As long as you're sure. Oh, no. No. Mm. No. No. It'll be over, over there. there. Huh? What? I think further away. Oh, no. Closer. Further away. Closer. Oh. Nearly there. 
Oh no! It's Philip! I don't want him to think that I'm stinky! Don't worry, Mum! <gasps> Slow down, Mum! <laughs> Be careful, Mum! <laughs> is going on? I'm sorry, Bob. I didn't like it when people thought I was smelly. So I went a really long way round so people couldn't smell me. And then I, I got late and in a real rush and then I... <laughs> it's all right, Mug. It's all right. And you're not smelly. It's just the manure. Yes, Mug. And we'll give you a good wash when you get back to the yard. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. And after that, you'll smell as fresh as one of Mayor Madison's roses. Oh, well. No turnips for me. Oh, at least the beds for my flowers are still all right. Ah. See you later. Woohoo! Anything I could do to help, Leo? Bob's put me in charge of building a giraffe house at the zoo. A giraffe house? Can I help, Leo? Can I? Oh, of course, Lofty. I expect it will be a really tall building, so I'll need your help. Come on, the sooner we collect up the materials, the sooner we can get started. Yay! OK, so I need six pieces of two by six. Six? That's not very many. Mm, that's what it says on the plan. And Bob knows best. <laughs> yes, that's right. He does. And 20 pieces of two by four, four cinder blocks, plywood sheeting, brackets, screws, hinges. No, that's four by eight. Oops, sorry. Too much to carry. We'll get Shred to help us out. Did somebody mention my name? Oh! Hi, guys! Hi! Hi. This is so exciting! I've seen Bob's plans and they looked brilliant. Ah, Bob's the best. So, one giraffe house coming up. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Alright! All done. This is one tidy office. I think Wendy will be very impressed. Sorry, Bob, but I am sorting it out. Yes, it does look a bit messy. It's like I always say, a workplace needs to be kept tidy. Oh, is that what you always say, Bob? Ah, oh. <laughs> hello, Wendy. I, uh, I was just, um, I finished the office. Yay! I've just seen it. Good job. Thanks. Told you I'd fix it. Hello, Tread. What's up? I think you'd better come along to the zoo, Bob. We've got a little problem. Uh-oh. Is this where the Christmas party's going to be, Bob? Is it? Is it? Yes, Lofty. Mr. Bentley said he would meet us here. Ah, oh, Bob, there you are at last. Hello, Mr. Bentley. I think the party centerpiece should go right here, don't you? Great idea. We'll build the giant sleigh in no time, Mr. Bentley. Wonderful. I love Christmas Eve. Oh, and of course, there's all the extra bits to do as well. Did he say extra bits? Uh oh. And so. We need to arrange the snow scene, the tree, and put up all these lights. I ordered hundreds. This will be the best Christmas party Fixum has ever had, all the way along the seafront as far as the galleon. That's all going to take some time to put up. But, but, it's Christmas, Wendy. We'll make sure Fixum gets its Christmas party, Mr Bentley. And it will be the best 
ever. Thank you, Bob. OK, team. Let's get to work. Can we build it? Yes, we can! The sleigh looks great, Bob. But what colour will it be? Well, I was going to paint it red. Oh, and gold. Huh? Yes, can it be red and gold? Uh, <laughs> of course. You really do love Christmas, don't you, Mr Bentley? Yes, ever since I was a little boy, I've always dreamed of having the best possible Christmas party. Now, we need more snow and more lights. Wow, Mr Bentley is so excited. <laughs> he is. But then who isn't? Uh-oh, Mr Bentley's coming. Oh, no. Do you think he'll want to change things again? Oh, Leo! Uh, ho, 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 Mr Bentley! Excellent Christmas spirit, Leo. Now, how about stringing lights from these candy canes right up to the galleon's mast. Uh, we could do that, but we've hung so many already. Don't worry, we've got plenty more. Oh, I can't control it, Bob! Wow! Oh! Oh, no! <gasps> I can't hold it! your big moment. Well done. My camera drone! Oh, no! Did you get any of that? Oh, no. I am so sorry. I've ruined everything. Don't worry, Lofty. We can get a replacement panel for the fence from the yard. And this section of the gateway is cracked just here. We'll need to replace it. OK. Scoop and I can pick up a new one of those, too. My drone is broken, but the camera is OK, thank goodness. Hooray! The camera still works! Why did you lift with such a long hoist in this wind, Lofty? I was trying to get away from the drone. I don't like being filmed. I'm just a bit shy, I suppose. I'm sorry, Lofty. I'll keep you out of shot from now on. And Bob. I won't need you to do any more talking. Really? I'm afraid so. You're, um, not really a natural on camera. Whew! <laughs> That's a relief. What? The truth is, Lofty, I don't like being on camera either. Especially talking on camera. Well, hey, I'm not the only one! So, who is going to be on camera explaining what's going on? Hey? Actually, Scoop, I think I know who'd make a great replacement. At last! <laughs> I am ready for my big mo... Huh? What do you think, Wendy? Can I film you? Yes, yes you, you can! can. <laughs> yes, you can. Right, team. Today we're going to be building an exercise trail. We'll be building five places where people can stop and do keep fit exercises at different areas around this park. So, we're going to start... Ah. Huh? Hi, Sky. Hi, oh. team, Bob! Everyone revved up and ready to build the exercise trail? Oh, yes. Yes. yes! That's the sporting spirit! But how will people know what exercises to do, Sky? Our signs like this will show people what to do. See? This shows someone walking along a balance beam like this one. 
Ah! But why are we building them in different places and not all together in the same place? So people can run from one exercise to the next, Dizzy. It really gets you puffing and panting and your muscles working. Wow! And people can do all this? Of course! People can do anything if they try. You should always push yourself to the limits and never <sighs> be scared to try something new. Wow! I would love to try something new. Do something I've never done before. Anyway, I'm running to Riverdale and back today. And after that, I can try out the exercise trail. <gasps> I can't wait! <gasps> See you later! Right, team, you heard Sky. She'll be back later and we've got an exercise trail to build. And I have to find something to do that I've never done before. Can we build it? Yes, we can! I've drilled all the holes at the other sites ready for the rest of the build, Bob. Great. Thanks, Scoop. Have you finished that chin-up bar, Leo? Yes, Bob. I'm just going to give it a quick test. Go, Leo! That's the sporting spirit. <laughs> right. So... We've got the press-ups and the monkey bars to do next. And then we'll finish off with the parallel bars. Scoop, as you finish the holes, Leo can help you put your rear bucket back on now. Will do. No problem, Bob. Oh, no! Uh oh No! The hoops! Now what have I done? Roly, what's going on? I've crashed into the dugout and I've ruined the basketball hoops. It's not like you to make a mistake, Roly. What happened? I was too busy thinking about my speech and all the people who will be coming. Don't worry, Roly. We can fix the dugout. And we can replace the poles for these hoops. But Betsy's here with the rockets and other people will start turning up soon. They'll see what a mess I've made. Betsy hasn't picked the rockets up from swimming yet. She just came to say she'd like to hear your speech, too. Oh, no. Not another one. I'll never be able to relax with all those people and machines watching me. They might be watching you, Roly, but you don't have to watch them. But what if I forget what building we've done? I'll feel really silly. You won't forget because Bob can remind you. Uh, can I? How? Bob can give you hand signals to remind you about everything we've done. Raking. Rolling and line painting. See? That's a great idea, Wendy. It certainly is. Now, can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! After all the gravel was packed down, we moved on to stage four, the asphalt. Um, um... Which Bob and Wendy spread out using rakes. And I... Uh, rolled nice and flat, like this. In stage five, Bob and Wendy painted the lines which mark out the court. Then, finally, they put up two new basketball hoops. And that is the end of my speech. Well done! Brilliant! Yeah. Well done! Brilliant, Roly! That was great! Thanks, Roly! I really, really, really want to be a builder now. Thanks, Sappy. 
But I only remembered what to say because Bob was giving me hand signals. But I only gave you two signals. You did all the rest yourself. Really? Did I? Wow! Can one of you collect them whilst I check things here? Scoop will do it. Huh? Thanks, Scoop. Sure. I'll go. No problem. He is so brave. Really, really brave. I'm not scared. Tra -la -la, la -la -la -la. I'm thinking happy thoughts about digging in places that aren't scary, like like this one. Okay, right. Just one long path to go. So I'm gonna go. I'm going. Now. Go! <laughs> Hello? Anyone there? <gasps> ah! It's a dinosaur! Help! Dinosaurs are the news! <laughs> it's okay, Scoop. It's just the wind again. There's nothing scary here. There's nothing scary at all. Scoop. Slowly does it. Now, tell us what happened. I saw a dinosaur skeleton, Bob, at the gates. It was st 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 staring right at me. <laughs> oh, Scoop. No, you saw the Model T Rex skeleton, that's all. Teuton has just delivered it. Oh, oh, it really scared me. Actually, Bob, I've been scared all day, to be honest. But I didn't want to say anything because I wanted my friends to think I was brave. Scoop, it's OK to be scared. I still think you're brave. Ah, oh, thanks, guys. Now, do you see, things are never really scary. Like the hedgehog and the wind. We just imagined that they were scary. Exactly. Now, come on. Visitors will be arriving soon and we've got a boneyard to finish. Great. Now we just need to fix the crow's nest back on and we're done. Hang on. There's only half of it here. Where has the other half gone? Uh, it was here earlier when I was talking to Scoop about how he's been collecting things. Scoop? Collecting things? Oh, no. You don't think he could have taken it, do you, Lofty? Uh, well, uh, I suppose, um... Hello, Mr. Bentley. Ah, hello, Bob. Just to let you know, I'll be along soon to see that lovely ship all fixed up. Uh, OK. Great. Bye for now. Bye, Mr. Bentley. Right. We really do need to find Scoop. And fast. I can't find Scoop anywhere, Bob. OK, thanks, Leo. Keep searching. Mark! Oh, hello, Bob. Mark, do you know where Scoop is? Uh, I know where he might be. Scoop! Huh? There you are. Hi, Bob. Listen, we need that crow's nest. Crow's nest? What's a crow's nest? That's a crow's nest. It belongs on the mast of the ship. We need it. I thought it was going to be recycled. It's an important part of the ship, Scoop. Oh, I didn't know. Maybe I should have checked before I took it. Well, yes, you should always check. 
But never mind now. Let's take it back and fix it to the mast. Steady. Hold it there. Perfect. Oh, hello, Gull. You helped me find that strange ball. I wonder where it came from. Ah, the ball! So that's where it came from! Bob, this mast is missing its ball from the top. It is? Yes, you're right, Scoop. It is. I know where it is. I'll go and get it. OK, but be quick. Mr Bentley will be here any moment. Okay. Phew. <sighs> oh, look, they really love it. So do I. Well done, everyone. Thanks, Jenny. Thank you. No prob. <gasps> Pilchard! How did you get up there? Oh, you were supposed to be looking after her, Scoop. I said it was a bad idea. What's she doing here? Oh, no! <gasps> Uh-oh. Oh, it's all my fault, Bob. What happened was Tell that... me later, Scoop. Right now, we need to get her out of there. But how? We can't go in while the bears are there. It's not safe. Maybe I could lift my bucket over the fence. That way she could climb in. Pilchard! Here you go! Pilchard! Scoop. And what does Pilchard like? I know! Quick, Bob, we need fish! Brilliant, Scoop! I just got some ready for the penguins' lunch. <laughs> Stop! Oh, no! Oh, Look over please here! Please don't hurt Pilchard! Lower your bucket, Scoop! Fishy, fishy! There's fish for you! Uh-oh! I forgot bears love fish, too. Come on, Pilchard. Yes! Oh, you silly cat, Pilchard. I thought that bear was going to hurt you. Sorry, Bob. I should have known a building site wasn't a safe place for a pet. Especially not a site full of wild animals, Scoop but I'm just so relieved she's safe. I brought her to work because Safi said she took her dog to school and... Hey! Safi's class is coming to the zoo this afternoon. We need to work extra fast to clear up. Yes, please. I really need to open the zoo now Pilchard's safe. Right. Let's go, team. Lofty, you need to extend your boom as far as it will go. All right, here we go. Oh. Yes, this place looks nice and safe. Oh, a little bit closer, Lofty. What's that noise? Uh, not sure. Uh, an aeroplane? 
OK. Lower your winch now. right here, Bob! <laughs> I can't hold it! Oh, below! <laughs> oh, no! Lofty, are you all right? <laughs> no, Bob. I can't move at all! What happened? It was lifting this heavy concrete so high. I think I've broken something. Oh, Lofty, you should have told us. You're going to need some repairs. I just wanted to keep up with Tiny. I thought I could do it. But I was wrong. Bob, that's the only exit and now it's blocked. What are we going to do? Maybe I can reach it. Yeah. <sighs> No, sorry, guys. It's too far away. So how are we going to get out? Uh, well, if I can get out, Curtis can fix me. And then I'll be able to unblock the entrance. Um, I know I should have accepted your help earlier, Tiny. But maybe you can help me now. Sure, little guy. Here I am, Tiny, ready for my extra heavy load. Stand by, Two-Ton. Time for some tower power. Steady, Tiny. Ew! Oh, I'm so high up. <laughs> Hello down there! Whee! Okay. Here he goes. How exciting. Yeah! One crane for delivery to Curtis. Ready to go, Lofty? Ready to go. Drive on, Tutan. While you're gone, would you like me to put in some sections for you? Oh, uh, yes, please, Tiny. That would be a big help. That was... <laughs>